Are you looking for the best medieval helmet? If your answer is yes, then this video is really very useful for you. There are lots of products available to choose medieval helmet with different prices, benefits and characteristics. I did hours of extensive research and read tons of reviews to compile a list of perfect products for you. I hope my research will help you to buy the right medieval helmet. To check the updated price and other details of those products, check the links from the description box. Let's jump into the video without any further delay. Number 1. Nagina International Crusaders. The first helmet that we have for you is common among the Templars. Although the Templars started around 1119, these helmets saw popularity in the early 13th century. And they lasted for a while before the authorities disbanded the group in 1312. Upon looking at this helmet, the first thing you will notice is how intricate the details are. It comes with a sleek looking brass lining that gives you an authentic look, making it look even more in place if you use it for theater or drama. And that bit is essential regardless of your purpose, as it can often be the distinction between a believable portrayal and an unrealistic one. Another impressive sight about this helmet is its build quality. It uses high quality 16 gauge carbon steel, a kind of steel with a higher amount of carbon. That structure ensures higher durability, with little denting and scratching over time. Another crucial bit regarding helmets is comfort. Without proper lining or padding, a helmet like this can turn out to be rather uncomfortable and even painful in some cases. Fortunately, this product comes with quality inner leather headlining, which makes things comfortable. That said, a unit like this also requires sufficient breathability and ventilation. Otherwise, the user can feel out of breath pretty quickly. This helmet has ventilation holes on the front that ensure proper ventilation to prevent that. Also, this helmet is 12 inches in height, and 8.5 inches in width and depth in terms of dimensions. Another bonus from the manufacturer Nagina International, is the included stand, which is 16 inches in height and pretty decent in quality. Number 2. Nagina International Medieval. Medieval helmets that manufacturers produce now must be historically accurate, especially if your purpose mandates it. For instance, if someone uses such a product as a prop, things won't work well with inaccurate designs. Our third pick comes from the trusted Nagina International this time, it's a visored Barbuda helmet. If you don't know what that is Barbuda, aka Barbute, is a type of war helmet that existed near the end of the medieval period, designed by Italian soldiers. As we spoke of essential purposes, something that can be pretty helpful is a quality lining. Otherwise, the metal can hit your head hard during movements. This helmet comes with a quality inner pad with leather strip cushions. In terms of size and dimensions, it should suit well for most head sizes. That means children can wear it as well, e.g., for Halloween. However, that would undoubtedly require adjustability to some extent, which this product does provide. There is a leather strap that can allow you to make the helmet stay in place, even if you have a smaller head or want your kids to be able to use it. It can also help you bear the weight more effortlessly, as it's around 2 kilograms. The weight might seem slightly heavier than some helmets, but the material quality plays a role here. It uses high-quality steel that's 1 mm in thickness, and can handle a bit of wear and tear with ease. This unit comes with a visor that you can wear opener with support. And this bit is something that boosts the authenticity of the helmet, giving it an excellent look. Overall, this product is terrific on all fronts. Number 3. Medieval Century Red Crest. The Roman Empire is one that many history enthusiasts find intriguing and with good reasons. This empire had significant territorial holdings with a substantial military force that was surprisingly skilled at war, which was an important reason behind their success. Moreover, if you're eager to learn about armors and helmets, you will find that they were exceptionally skilled at that too. Therefore, our final product is a medieval Roman helmet, and yet another one from Nagina International. But enough with our fascination toward them, let's get to the helmet now. It features a beautiful design that follows the original one, which was most likely created by the Gallic Smiths, with a red crest on top. This red crest comes attached through a buffer arc steel strip, which stays in place even during movement. Furthermore, you can attach or detach this crest strip depending on your needs. Fun fact the Romans wore it to look more intimidating. Another impressive characteristic of this product is the quality material, namely the 18 gauge 1mm carbon steel, which ensures excellent durability. However, you might occasionally need to oil it to ensure that it stays shiny and free of rust. The helmet also comes with a neck and a cheek guard, as you would have seen on an original one. Those two parts, along with the upper side and lining of the helmet, have golden accent pieces to get the look to perfection. Moreover, this unit comes with a chin strap to allow you to adjust it, depending on your head size. The original dimensions are 93, H, X 83, watts, with 25.123 circumference. Another little bonus is that it comes with a stand. Number 4. SCCO Supplies Close European Helmet. If you are an armor enthusiast, you probably know that one of the most popular helmets during the medieval period was the close helmets. These were common around near the late medieval and renaissance times, coupled with heavy armors. This pick is from SCCO Supplies, a brand well known for products of high caliber. 
The helmet is entirely handmade, and it features a quality design that gives it an authentic look that you may require for many purposes. What makes such helmets unique is that there is no opening in the front, which gave the fighter total protection against the enemy. However, such a closed design can create an issue regarding breathability and ventilation. Therefore, this helmet has ventilation holes on the visor to prevent the user from feeling uncomfortable or claustrophobic. And as long as we're on that subject, we should mention that this helmet comes with an attached visor. The product uses high-quality 18-gauge steel that will prevent any dents with ease. However, there is one issue. As the steel is not stainless, you might need to polish and oil it to keep it from rusting over time. Another issue is that this is a large helmet that covers not only your entire head, but also your neck. Therefore, as you can imagine, it weighs quite a lot, slightly over 6 pounds. Wearing it for an extended period might not be easy. However, that is not to say that it's impossible to wear it for long. The product is 15 inches in height, which is decent for most users. Lastly, the pricing is relatively reasonable for the material quality of this helmet. Number 5. Serenautical Medieval Viking Helmet. As the second pick on the list, we have a Norman Armor Helmet from Serenautical. They were also known as Gjermungu Viking Age Helmets. As you probably know, the Normans were Vikings who settled in the medieval Duchy of Normandy. But enough of the history lesson, now let's get into the details of the helmet itself. A property that you should always pay attention to before purchasing such a product is its dimensions, as an unsuitable one can render it unusable. This helmet's dimensions are around 13 inches, L, 9.8 inches, W, and 8 inches, H. Therefore, it can fit effortlessly for most people, but users with comparatively smaller heads might find it a bit too big for their requirements. As we said earlier, the helmet needs to come with a padded interior lining. That property can ensure a comfortable experience if you need to wear it for more than a little while, and even prevent any feeling of claustrophobia. That's why it comes with a leather lining underneath, which can also prevent your hair from getting stuck. Another impressive bit is the price of this product, which is pretty reasonable for what you get out of the box. There were a few caveats, though. The first one is that the faceplate size seems slightly more extensive, and it can occasionally get some dents. Nevertheless, it provides pretty good quality materials for the price, so we can't complain. The helmet also has chainmail in the back, which adds to its authentic look. Moreover, it has golden accent pieces around the faceplate and the head, giving it an attractive and original exterior, which we appreciate. So that's all about the video. To get helpful videos like this do subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell icon for quick notifications. If you need more information about those products check the links from the description below. Please comments below if you have any query about this video. Thanks for watching.